Right, hello, and uh, welcome to a video about, well, uh, as you can see in the title, uh, why is it so hard to frame jump in Denmark? Uh, let's first start with the concept of frame jumping. If you don't know, uh, maybe because the YouTube recommended did something wrong again and you know told you to come here because you don't care about trains at all. Uh, it's basically being on a train like wagon like this with the thing actually moving um, some kind of passive train driving right now in Denmark we don't really have freight the problem is that in I think 30 years ago uh, someone thought that trains uh, is a good thing but freight is not uh, there will need passengers uh, so the only trains we have going through Denmark now it's pretty much passing through they're not really stopping here uh, they're stopping of course because you know there is signals all over the place they're just passing through to either Sweden uh, or Germany and if you try to uh, double the train you can do that that's not you know impossible uh, but you like to get spotted because the two areas that is kind of good for it and another area that is okay but almost impossible i can name it to the two places it's called newball and it's called F hello guys and welcome to culling so this might be one of the most open areas to be in if it comes to train yards that is pretty much left for you know just entry the boss actually don't show any locomotive coming by which uh which is cool, and he uh, he drove off to the harbor on the other side. Uh, that's why I equipped the orange <laughs> because well I don't want to get thrown away while I record this. Uh, but this is one of the areas where you could potentially uh, start a journey for train serving. Uh, but of course I wouldn't recommend it. This is the last part of where I wanted to show you in this video where you could potentially get onto a train. This is the boat station and as you can see there is a pretty good chance uh, for anyone to probably jump the fence and go into a train because you can hide like over here then the train will stop just uh, about those signals there. I mean, don't see. You can barely see them but you know they're there. If you really, really, really want to train safe in Denmark, uh, I would just say don't bother trying because it's not worth it. Stick to stationary reckons, just climb them, I don't know, uh, look at them as I do, uh, or just, you know, enjoy them from afar. Uh, don't try to actually find a train that is moving because freight here is not moving uh, that far at all uh, you could try but I, I won't recommend it go to another place go to Sweden or Mars in Germany where they actually go to for example the, the, the area in Sealand that I told you was the third area is actually a secure DP sinker area uh, you're not getting in there that was this guys uh, I hope you kind of understood what what I'm trying to say I know I'm, I'm bad at this I'm not scripting this in any way I'm just trying to tell you that Train surfing in Denmark is not worth it. it. Sounds awesome, but don't don't bother try. I mean, do as I do. Uh, watch this video, see why you should not try to be a hero about trains. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like. And if you have anything, down below. You know where it is. Love you all. Bye bye.